This isn't Indiana Jones. We don't just find skeletons lying there. This discovery is quite different, where the fossils were just lying there on the surface. This site is so extraordinary in its volume. We have 1,500 fossils discovered in just a couple of months of work, and a lot more fossils down there still to be found. And so it effectively doubles the African fossil record for early humans. Um, so in that sense, it's extraordinary. It's extraordinary in that we discovered a species that was previously unknown to our science. You know, this is an anatomy that we didn't know existed before until the discovery of these things. And then of course the context of the find is extraordinary, where it looks as though the, the bodies of these creatures were being deliberately placed in this vicinity, uh, in, in this cave, by Homo naledi. I think most folks have the impression of human evolution as being that, that classic diagram of a chimpanzee you know, slowly turning into the human. And there's this idea that everything happened in lockstep. And that's not how evolution works. Instead, what we find are mosaic patterns. Patterns in which you have, you have anatomies evolving at different rates and happening maybe fast initially and then being in stasis for a while and then occurring rapidly again at different times. And this is yet another example of how this can happen. And it tells us that during the, the evolution of humans, there were all sorts of different experiments going on. Well, these are bones of, of human ancestors. They're really special. They're rare. And they tell us not only about what they were like, but they fill in the story for why we are the way we are today.